Hi folks, uh, good afternoon. So in today's video what we're going to be doing is the topic of pictorial drawing and specifically the area known as isometric drawing. We have come, covered some other questions based on this in previous videos and uh, what we're here, what we're doing here is we're given an orthographic views of an object as shown below and we have to create the 3D drawing of it given the 2D views. So you can see here we have an elevation view, we have the plan view underneath it and we have the end elevation over here. What I always get my students to do is work out the overall height, length and width so that we can create our crow's foot and our fish tank okay, for the object to fit inside. So starting off here, uh, we can see that the length is 140 millimeters. So if I come down to the plan, I know my left, going from left to right is my length. So if I add 40 plus 40 plus 60, it adds up to 140. My width is also got from my plan. It can be got from your end elevation as well, but in this case, they're showing us the measurement here on the plan. And our width in this case is 40 millimeters. And then our height will actually be got from either the end elevation or the elevation. Now in this case they haven't given it to us here and they actually haven't given it to us in our elevation either. Okay, I've just written in a H there. Okay, we do not know the height from here up to here. Okay, so I've left the height blank there and we'll get onto that in a minute. Now the whole process here is to actually create a pictorial view of this object in isometric. So if I was actually to do that, I want to start off by creating, I suppose, the best view possible that would show me the most information. So I've written down here the best view, if I put a person literally standing here looking in this direction, I believe this is the best view because it's shown the slope, obviously we can see the slope is going up at an angle of 30 degrees. Uh, it's kind of basically a triangle with a section cut out of it. And if a person was standing here, they'd see it going in an upwards direction and they would also see the kind of cut surface here from the slope. Okay, so I think that's the best view. So in relation to this person, the widths are going to be on the person's right and because the lengths are going in this direction, the lengths are going to be on the person's left. Okay, and what we're going to have to do is basically work out the height in a minute. But to start that off, I would always start off by kind of, as best I can, trying to create a sketch. So I'm trying to create a triangle, kind of a 3D view here. So if I was to do something like that. There's my triangle. Now I want to create a 3D, so I'm going to extrude it back a little bit. So there's kind of my, I suppose, my little wedge there. And now I want to cut out this little section here. So I'm going to cut out that section. I'm going to do a line down, and a line down at 30 degrees, and then it's going to come up. So there's that little section gone from it. Goes across here like this, across here like this, and obviously it will go down. They'll meet there like that, and something like, something like that there, where just get in. That's kind of that little cut surface, and I'll just hatch the next bit in. Okay, and there's our kind of like two little cut surfaces, okay, and the wedge has been taken out of it. So that's going to be roughly what our end result will be. Okay, now before I start doing the fish tank and creating it, I need to work out the height. Okay, so sometimes if a measurement isn't given to you, what you actually need to do is you might have to actually redraw one of these views up here to be able to create it. So I'm going to redraw this triangle here. Okay, it's a right angle triangle where this is going to be 30, 90, and obviously this is 60 up here. But I'm going to use the length here plus the angle to find out this height. So the length is 140, and then I'm going to project up at 30 degrees. So, if I come to my sheet here, I've it already set up. I have a line down here for rough work. I've drawn a line 140 millimeters long. Okay, so that's the base of the triangle. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to project up. This is going to be the height of it. Somewhere up there is going to be the height. And what I'm actually going to do is, from this corner down here, at 30 degrees, right here, I'm going to do a line up like that. And by doing that at 30 degrees, it is actually showing me the height from here to here. That is my overall height. So I can either take that with my set square and mark it like that. And it's telling me that it's about I want to be 100% accurate, so it's about 81 millimeters, 80.5 maybe. So I'll actually use my compass for that. Okay, so I'm just going to mark in 80 to 81, but I'm just going to put in compass there, C O M P for compass. Okay, and that's what I'm going to use to determine my height. So now what I want to do is I want to create my fish tank. So to create the fish tank, I'm going to start my drawing about here. I'm going to do a vertical line starting off. Okay, I'm going to do a line at 30 degrees going to the right, maybe a little bit further, and then a line going at 30 degrees to the left, like that. Now, this one is going to be my length line, which is 140 millimeters. 
and this one, put L there, is going to be my width line, which is going to be 40 millimeters, throw to there. And then my height line is going upwards, like this. What I would do here now is, I would get my compass, I would take the height from here, up to here, like that, and I would mark it up here. So I took the vertical height from here to here that I worked out previously and marked it up here. Once I have it marked once, that's all I need. Now using those three measurements, project my height line across here at 30 degrees, project my height line up here at 30 degrees. Okay. Mark this up vertically and vertically. 30 degrees this way at the top, and 30 degrees like this. And now we have created our fish tank where everything is going to fit inside. So I'll zoom in on that there now. Okay. So we used the height previously, as I said, marked down here in the rough work to work this out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fit everything that was isolated in my 2D kind of little, or sorry, my 3D sketch here. I want to get that inside in here. So first of all, I know I have a triangular surface on the face here. So from this corner all the way up to this corner, I'm going to connect that. Likewise with this one. There is my wedge created. Nice and easy, okay? Now inside in that wedge, I have to cut out this little section here. Okay? And that section is starts over 40 and then it goes over another 40. Or I could work from right to left and mark 60 and then 40. But I'm going to go left to right, so 40 and 40. So going from left to right, left to right, I'm going to mark 40 and 40. 40 plus 40 is 80. Likewise, I said I could have marked 60, and you can see I have 60 here. Okay. But I have 40 and 40. Now I'm going to mark that upwards. Do a line up. And that's where the wedge section is going to be inside. And where here and here is, or sorry, where this point is here, I'm going to project across at 30 degrees. Likewise with this one, 30 degrees like that. Now what I want to do is I want to find out how far down I have to go inside here. And you can see here, it doesn't tell me how far down, but it does tell me from the base up, okay? So from the base up, I'm going to mark up 25 millimeters. So for this, I'm going to go up 25, okay? So it'll mark 25 up to zero. Like that, 25 up to zero. That now is helpful because I can project at 30 degrees like this. And the reason I go at 30 degrees is because the base level of the little kind of cut section here is parallel with the ground, and we know the ground because it's flat is going at 30 degrees, so this is also going at 30 degrees. So it's gone flat there at 30 degrees. Now I'm going to project this across, and from here it's going to come straight down. So I've kind of got that back surface there, and then finally I'm going to go at 30 degrees down like that. Okay, and it's showing me that flat surface. Have the question actually completed now? It's just a case of heaving in the detail. So, maybe this in. I'm going to get all my vertical lines done in one go. Okay, I think that's all my vertical lines. Now I'll get all my 30 degree lines going in one direction. that's that. Then I'll get all my other 30 degree lines done in the other direction. So this one here. You can see it's starting to kind of take shape now. Here. Two more after this. One one. And then this one. And then finally to finish it off make sure I'm here up to here. Maybe this in. Maybe this in. Heavy this and heavy this. And there you have the object is completed. And if we compare that to our sketch, okay, if you look at the sketch here, I can see the wedge section kind of cut out of it, and then I've kind of got the cutout section there. Okay, so that is the question completed, guys. I hope you found that helpful. That is the video done.